After a year of disputes and disruption, peace looks to have broken out in golf following this deal that nobody saw coming. It was last June when players like Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson and Sergio Garcia earned big money when they joined the Saudi-backed Live Golf. A move that drew huge criticism, with Rory McIlroy vocal in his opposition. But McIlroy and Tiger Woods were both left in the dark about the merger. I had made commitments on behalf of the PGA Tour and not had an opportunity to fully vet them with you know, our policy board and with those two individuals and the larger group, then you know, that would be a complete miss on my part. And, and, and I recognize that. But this was us reaching a framework agreement. We think it's the right agreement. Obviously, Tiger and Rory's perspective is one that I understand very well. And it was part of my thinking throughout these conversations, and it will be a part of my thinking going forward. No comment from Rory yet on the move, but Patrick Harrington took to social media to voice his surprise at the speed of the merger, but not that it has happened, and that overall it's good for the cohesion of the game. This announcement that PGA Tour, DP World Tour, which was formerly known as the European Tour, and Live Golf have agreed to merge, means pending litigation will be put to one side. Today is historic. And historic is the right word, because ourselves, the PGA Tour, and the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, known as the PIF, are coming together to form a commercial entity that will unify men's professional golf. And that is very exciting. A landmark day, certainly, with Live Golf now firmly under the World Golf umbrella.